everyone this is our third video tutorial and this comes under the subject e-governance and this is our third video tutorial so today in this video I'll be discussing about types of e-governance okay so this is one of the important question both for theory plus fiber or plus practical exam you can say okay so you should know all the types of e-governance in a very uh, good way with proper examples so i'll try to explain all this so first one is government to citizen second is government to business okay so it is g2c it is g2b third is government to employee that is g2 e and fourth is government to government that is g2 g okay so before uh, going to theory portion of all this let us uh, let me take an example okay a practical example and explain you and after that i'll be going to the theory portion okay so uh, let's consider uh, this is the government okay so what all services it provides to its citizens okay that is we are talking about g2c government to citizen okay so for example if you have to for government to citizen all the uh, services provided to a normal citizen or its public okay for example if you have to make a citizenship okay if you have to collect your birth certificate death certificate your license exam and all okay so all these falls under the services for government to citizen next one is if for its employee that is for government to employee so for its employee the services will be all the benefits okay for example uh, online services online services for employee okay providing the doc suppose they want some documents and all that is this is the services that is provided to its own employee okay so online services documents uh, you can say training and all okay so all this comes under g2e next one is government to government to business okay so this consists of you know online services for business providing online services for business so what type of services we can provide to a business if you are a government and what type of services can you give to business online services so it can be licensing okay for example they want licensing for their company or they want permit so these things government can provide to a business online so that is called government to business and last one is government to government so what type of services can the government provide to another government okay so it is nothing but it is interaction among among different government organization you can say interaction among different government organization for example uh, if you have a finance department a governmental department that is finance and another one is suppose uh, you know um, some like uh, sports and all department okay so if both of them are providing services to each other they are interacting with each other their authorities their department are going to talk with each other uh, exchange services between each other so that is called interaction among the different government organization and that is nothing but g2 g so i hope you got some uh, basic overview about what are, what are all this so let us go to the theory portion i'll explain all the theories one by one so that it can be easy for you for for your exam so first one is we have okay first one is government to citizen okay so here what does it what does it means okay so it mentions we can say it mentions the government services that are acquired 
by citizen okay it means that the facility that government facility that government gives to its general public so what is the benefit of this a citizen can retrieve retrieve the facilities you know any time from anywhere we can say okay so other another benefit that a citizen can get from this is it minimizes you know time and cost minimizes time and cost for example imagine you have to collect your license or you have to apply for a license so uh, imagine you are going to travel okay you are going to travel so it consumes your time as well as your cost you need to go to that organization fill the form be in queue and do all the things and imagine in second scenario just in a click of a mouse you are going to open your website and you are going to apply for the license and okay? this is the difference let's go to another one that is two number government to business okay so it is nothing but this interchange of services we can say this is interchange of services between government and business okay so as i told you for a business group if you are going to provide license to them if you are going to provide permit to them so this type of services it comes under uh, business sector and you know government sector okay so what does it do is what is the importance of this it upgrades it upgrades the efficiency and quality of communication and transparency of government project okay so it provides you know timely uh, you know information timely business information and all fine so a, big, a business organization that can have easy online access to government agencies yeah they will have a easy access to government agencies fine so this is the example of government to business next is government to employee okay so what does this government to employee means let us see so third one is government to employee that is g2e okay so it is you know it is the online interaction okay online interaction using various communication tool using various communication tool between government and their employee and their employee you can say okay so it provides you know g2e is an effective way to provide e-learning e-learning to employee so with the help of this employee will get you know knowledge it will promote knowledge of employee promote knowledge of employee okay so you can see a, a training within organization for employee this is also example of government to employee services next is fourth number that is government to government yeah so government to government it means interaction as i told you interaction among various government forms we can say you know two different forms 
so what does it do it it, it increase the efficiency of government process yeah it increase the efficiency of government process it also you know make it also strengthen you can say strengthen relationship among different government organization yeah fine so you can know you can see that here local or global global government can work together so it's not only within a country it can be like a government of one country interacts with the government of another country yeah for example us and nepal or india or china so if they are interacting with each, each other providing services to each other so that also comes under g2g right so i hope you got this like what is the um, uh, four types of services with examples so i hope you will be able to write an exam so next um, we'll discuss about some more topics and issues in this uh, e government so what is what are the issues now we have already stated what is e governance what is the benefit how can we use that so what are the issues why are we not able to implement the uh, e governance till now okay so we'll discuss about the issues there so that is also one of the important topic so till that uh, stay safe stay updated and like share and subscribe our channel for further videos uh, thank you